Welcome to Northern Lights over Arkham. I'm JP and this time I'm testing a deck made by Matt. It's his deck for the 3 meters campaign because he's not played the 3 meters yet. I'm testing the deck with slight changes in the circle undone, the witch in our scenario. The deck was made for multiplaying, so I made some changes into the deck. Uh, there were no cluing tools in it, so I added Intel Report, Scene of the Crime, and a couple of flashlights. To make room for those cards, I removed two overpowers, two prepared for the worst, and two contrabands. The deck has a lot of weapons, so I think with six weapons in it, you shouldn't need to have prepare for the worst in the deck altogether. That's just my opinion. Of course, you can have a bad draw and never draw your weapons. And usually, if I play solo, I would build Tony for other of class than protection, but because this is a deck modified from multiplayer, I'm keeping the Guardian of class to see how, how it generally works. So, Enough of the deck, let's start playing the scenario. We're playing the Witching Hour. There isn't like a standalone setup for this scenario, so I played it that we didn't take the extra weakness and the tarot card, but we got two Elder Thing tokens into the back, which are worse than the tablets that come if you take the weakness and the tarot card. So. Let's see how this deck does in the Witching Hour. Let's get going. If you like my content, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. I have pre-shuffled the deck, so we draw our opening hand. Uh, actually, we pick one of these randomized locations where we start. So I'll just take this one. So it's the Witch Haunted Woods Overgrown Barn. It has one clue on it, on the Shroud of Three. So when an enemy would spawn somewhere else, it spawns here instead. And because this is a solo game, these are all connected, so I'm not using location connectors, because it's a mess with this scenario. So we draw our opening hand of five cards, we get Leo de Luca. Intel Report, Vicious Blow, Steadfast and Slate of Hand. We like having Leo, but other than that, I think we want... We could keep... Uh, we, we really need a weapon in the start. So I think we did all of this. And draw four. And we get weakness, so we did that too, actually two weaknesses. Okay, so we got a couple of weapons, steadfast and double or nothing. So I think we can get going with these. So, first action. I think I'll get a resource just to play Leo, so we get a sixth resource. Second action, we play Leo. Oh yeah, I forgot to shuffle the mulligan cards back into the deck, so just a moment. So, we pay six resources. An extra action. Last action. No, well, it's not the last action. Mm. Because I have the Derringer, I'm thinking of just to get this clue out of here and getting on. I'll do... I'll commit the Tony's 
38 long call to this test. So I'm investigating 5 versus 3. So I fail. That was a bit sad. Well, what can you do? I'll just use my last action to investigate 3 versus 3. Maybe we get lucky. Minus 2. So, no luck there. Uh, no enemy face, so upkeep. I draw one card, gain one resource. And let's go to the next turn. We add one Doom to the agenda and draw one Encounter card. And it's Bedevilt. So... I cannot trigger action abilities on my cards. That's not very fun. A good test will three to get rid of it, but uh, let's see, let's just try to get this clue now. So first action I'll commit unexpected courage for an investigation, so five versus three. So it's a skull, it's minus one for each point you fail by discard the top card of the encounter deck. So I didn't fail, we get this clue. Second action, I'll move to the... Let's move here. So it's Witch Hunted Woods, Abandoned Mine, Shroud of Two. You cannot investigate this location while you have between three to ten resources. Okay, doesn't affect us at the moment. So we just investigate three versus two. So minus one or better. We fail and we investigate again. So we get the clue, and that's our turn. No enemies, so we go to upkeep, I draw one card and gain one resource. Okay, let's go to the next turn. We add the second doom on the agenda, the encounter card is Centuries of Secrets, we test Will of Five. Okay, I'm not committing anything to this. Minus one. We fail by four. So four cards are discarded. And we take one direct damage if... And one direct damage to an ally if we get a curse. Well, we got a curse already, so just four cards. Well, at least we missed Frozen in Fear, which is just awful with Tony. So we take one direct damage and... Uh, Leo takes also one damage. Okay, first action. Let's move to the next Witch Hunted Woods. It's the child's tree house. Forced when you the last clue is discovered from this location, spawn the topmost enemy in the encounter discard pile. At this location. And if there are no enemies in the discard, we discard from the top of the deck. Okay. I'll take one resource, I'll pay, uh, play down the Derringer, so 
just so that we get an enemy if we have something to fight with. Uh, last action, I'll just investigate. Uh, just a note, we already have two clues, but I've noticed in this scenario you want to get as many clues as you can before you start advancing the act deck. So you can just rush it forward when you have all of the clues from these starting locations. So, minus two are better. Zero, we get a clue. And that's our turn. So, upkeep, we draw one card. Gain one resource. Forgot to pay the gun, so we pay it now and take one. Okay. So that's that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add the third Doom on the agenda and get an encounter card, which is unfortunately frozen in fear. So I think we'll just investigate and start fighting the enemy that spawns. We could also try to evade it. So that we could remove that. Because actually we can't shoot the gun now. Just noticed that. Okay. So, uh, minus two are better. We just got the clue. So, let's look through the encounter deck for a witch. Well, they are really apparently at the bottom of the deck. Well, at least I think all of the ancient evils went by. Okay, so we engage the priest of the coven. And she's a 2 3 2, so I think we try to evade. So, the evading costs 2 actions. I'll spend unexpected courage to the evade. So, I'm 4 versus 2. Minus two, we managed to evade. And last action, I'll discard this bedeviled so I can shoot the witch next turn. Okay, that's my turn. So Enemy phase, nothing happens, upkeep, the witch readies, engages us, draw one card and get one resource. Okay, let's go to the, oh yeah, before we go to the next turn, I'll try to get rid of this frozen in fear, I'll commit steadfast to it, so I'm uh, five versus three. It's a skull, so I succeed. Now we go to the next turn. We are at four doom of eight. Counter card is cracked. You get a minus one for each of your skills during the first skill test of Perform this round. First action. Just try to shoot the witch. 
So I'm uh, currently six versus two because of the minus one. So minus four or better. Zero. We do two damage on the witch. And second action, I'll just punch the witch. Oh yeah, I could have put an bounty on this witch, but well, maybe I remember it next time. So now I'm five versus two, so minus three or better. It's minus three. We managed to kill the witch. Third action, we move to this last location. It's the tented well. So if there's just one clue here and nothing special in a solo game. I'll just try to investigate with the last action. Uh, I'll commit this. Uh, actually, no. Can you use that too? Actually, I slide of hand this Tennessee Sour Mash in the play. I'll use one from it and try to get rid of Racked. So I get plus two, so I'm four versus three. No. Well, it were, was worth a shot. So at the end of my turn, this returns to my hand. And no enemies, so we go to upkeep, we draw one card. We just buy that clue off next turn. And that's that turn, let's go to the next turn. So, 5 of 8 Doom and the Encounter card is... It's a common initiate. So we discard two cards from the top of the counter deck. And... We just kill it by shooting it, so first action, actually I put three bounties on it, so I use my extra action from bounty contracts to shoot, I'm 4, 5, 6 versus 2 because of the frag. Elder Sign. I get plus two and place one bounty on bounty co contracts, so I kill it. I get three resources. First real action, I'll pay two. this clue off and I think we'll advance then we pick one of these Arkham Woods locations at random We get the goat spawn spawned on, on us. Then we'll test either agility or will three. I'll do that test in a minute. We 
shuffle one of these de demonic pipings into the encounter deck and put two of them in the discard. Then we'll test the... Uh, I'll just try it with the wheel. I'll commit this. So 3 versus 3. Minus 3. So it just engages us. So I think I'll put three I'll put two bounties on it. I'll shoot. Oh yeah, let's see what this location is. So we investigate with agility which is bad for us. We need one clue for the next act, so... Let's see if we hit with the bullet. So I'm... Um, 7 versus 3, so minus 4 or better. 0. We succeed by at least 2, so we two do 2 damage. Uh, last act... Uh, not the last action yet, I'll just hit hit with the fist then. So I'm uh, minus two or better, minus two. We get these resources and kill the god spawn. Last action. Uh, I'll try to investigate uh, minus two or better. I mean. Uh, it's two versus my two shroud, so zero or better. Plus one, we get the clue. Very lucky. Uh, I think we'll advance after the next mythos phase. So we get resource and a card. We get Tom's quarry. It's bonus location farthest from us. It's all are connected, so just put it here. It has one doom on it and one bounty. Okay, uh, that's that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We are at seven doom because of that worry of eight. We draw one card. It's another witch. I'll put one bounty on the witch. And we discard two cards. And I think I draw the topmost hex card in the discard pile. He deviled. And we'll advance this. Next. So we can move to other locations in front of other players, so it doesn't matter. And we could actually just advance this too, but we'll deal with the witch first. So first action, I'll just punch with my fist. Uh, I'm minus one, so four versus two, so minus two are better. Minus four, I miss. Uh, second action, well, the first of our real actions. Once again, five versus two, so minus three or better. Plus one. Minus three or be better. We 
these witches are really annoying, so that heals it. I'll try to evade. No, I'll just try to punch it down. Minus three or better, we hit. And last action. Well, that was our whole turn. Let's see if we can even kill it. Minus three or better. Just barely kill it. Well, that was that turn. Uh, get the card. One resource. We really don't need more resources. Now we need guns. And to get rid of that. But uh, let's see what happens when the agenda advances next turn. So we're at a doom. So we discard all but five cards of the encounter deck. Topmost which is a Coven initiate. On her. So, draw an encounter card, which is centuries of secrets. So, I think this kills Leo. Nothing we can do about it. So, it's one versus five minus two. Yeah, so we discard five. So, if there's one curse here, Omen, enemy. Power Terror Hex. So no curse, so we dodge that. Luckily. Okay. First action. I'll hit the witch. Now I'm minus three or better. We hit a uh, second action, I'll hit it again. We hit and kill. Uh, I think we have to advance. There's actually. I think we don't need to pay that guy any attention anymore. So we'll just advance. We spent the three clues. Actually, I think I'll wait for a bit. So I really need a weapon, so I draw a card. We get a knuckle duster. Well, that's good. I'll play the knuckle duster. And we draw another card. Get another knuckle duster. Uh, next turn we really need to get rid of that devil somehow. That's our turn. Upkeep, we draw a card. Psychosis. Okay, one resource. So that's that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay. Now we really need to get rid of this somehow and advance so we can get to kill Annette Mason. So 
let's add the doom and see encounter card another coven initiate oh well i think i'll try to evade so i can just remove those i really don't have anything to commit to the test but just maybe i get lucky so evade Elder sign, we add one contract to here, bounty here, and plus two, so we evade, even with the minus. Nice, uh, second action, remove Bedeviled, remove Wrecked, and let's just hit the witch with the Knuckle Duster. So I'm uh, up by three. I hit to do two damage and kill that witch. And that's it. I think I'll advance at the start of the next turn. So we get one card, we get one resource, and let's go to the next turn. Two Doom of 12. We get an encounter card and it's Diabolic Poison Test. Appeal 3 for each point you fail, discard one card at random from your hand. Well, we have nothing really important that we might discard, so zero. I discard one card random. And there should be no more copies of this here, yeah. So we lose the other knuckle duster, so no big deal. Okay, we spent the clues. Advance. We get the... Which is circle in play. Okay. There are three clues there. And we also also an animation spawns there. So I think I will. Uh, I think we'll first action move here. Then we'll get rid of psychosis. And also, when Annette spawned, I'll put one bounty on her. I think I'll draw a card with the last action. Okay. Could play that actually next turn. Helps a lot against Annette. Yeah. So we got a uh, Derringer. So that's our turn. So. We discard three cards, no witches. At the end of the round we add one doom for each witch there. So I think we'll just rush in and try to kill Annette. Yeah, upkeep, we draw one card, gain one resource. And let's go to the next round. Okay, so I think this turn we'll try to head in and kill Annette. So we had one Doom and 
Okay, so these are not voices, so we can't play in our Derringer. That sucks. Well, let's just. Uh, I think we can, can wait one turn, so I'll draw a bunch of cards this turn. So I draw first action, second action. I think I'll draw more. That's good to see. Not that useful. Yeah, there's nothing else to do right now, so we just draw. Okay. So we have nine cards, we have to discard something, but uh, at the start of the enemy phase, let's see if we spawn a witch somewhere. No witch, and at the end of the turn we add one doom there. We draw one card at the upkeep, that's helpful. Okay. And we get one resource. So that, that was a quick turn. We get rid of this, so hopefully next turn we can head in and kill Annette. So let's go to the next turn. Oh yeah, and I have too many cards, so I'll discard the end of my turn, the flashlights, and I don't need the... Yeah, let's just keep that in hand. Okay, uh, we add one Doom. Encounter card is Priestess of the Coven. Yeah, I think we just don't mind her. Take four damage, yeah. I'll, I'll risk it. I'll play down Tony's Long Colt. We take two damage. I move in. We take another two damage. And we engage in it. We need bullets. Okay, let's try to kill Annette now. So I use one bullet from my gun. And I have five, five damage, so I'm at nine, so I get plus two from steadfast, so. I think I'll commit those, just use three resources, so I'm up by up by four elder sign we hit to two damage okay and uh, then we shoot again now I commit uh, steadfast Oh yeah, and I get these resources and a bunch of resources, so I, I'm rich. Doesn't really matter now. So I, I'm uh, up by four again. So if we hit, we win the scenario. Hopefully we hit. Good shuffle for the last row, possibly. Minus one. So two damage to Annette. We advance. And we defeat Annette, so we go to resolution one. Okay, so that ended well, looked a bit tough. 
we had to stop for a moment because of that dissonant voices and then we got that uh, witch on us. We could have punched the witch, but I think I, that might have taken too long. So yeah, let's talk about the deck a bit before we end. So the deck is quite decent at killing stuff. There's no problem on defeating enemies. Uh, Tony's attack of 5 is really good and the Derringer is okay. I would upgrade it maybe to a, a level 2 switchblade if, if not playing Taboo. And if playing Taboo then to level 2 to Der Derringer. Knuckle Dusters are good in Tony. Then uh, Leo de Duca is of, of course good, but I think there could be more allies in the deck. Uh, two ally cards is quite few and if you don't draw Leo, then you should have some way of getting a soak ally in, into play. Maybe uh, I think Gregory Gry is a good addition. If you have uh, the Dream Eater cards, then maybe that. Uh, I, I don't like double of or nothing in this deck. It, it doesn't really do much. It's good when you're an investigating uh, rogue that uses lockpicks. Then you can just cross investigation checks and get double clues, but in, in fighting there's rarely a good good opportunity to play them. Uh, I didn't draw some of the cards I would have wanted to try, like on the hunt or maybe vicious blows would be nice. So you can deal with these three health minions with one one swing of the knuckle duster. But yeah, uh, it's a decently good deck. Definitely, if played as a fighting character in the Dream Eaters, it's it's really effective. I myself played Tony through the Dream Eaters as a guardian of class, so I, I know it works. Uh, one one thing I want to mention, uh, depending uh, if if you're at all familiar with the swarm keyword. You should have like dynamite blast in the deck to do damage to all enemies at the location because those swarming enemies are a pain for uh, an investigator who hits only one one target at a time. But yeah, hope you liked this playthrough. Uh, I'll put the deck list into the video description and of course if you like this video please subscribe so you don't miss my future videos and thanks for watching and until next time